delighted for the for Connor, delighted for the team, delighted for the substitutes that they can come and have an impact. That's what you want. You want um, you want players that are disappointed because they want to play and frustrated, of course, but they do it in a good way, ready to help when they come on the pitch. And I thought we had a good response in that regard. Group's been really good from the from the start. So, but delighted for Connor. It's a fantastic strike. He has a lot of respect for Crystal Palace, as you can see by his reaction. But he's a Chelsea player now, and it's a great goal for us. And as well as his first goal, first goal for a Birmingham. Yeah, um, and I think an important goal as well. Uh, he's been working hard as well to to get himself up to um, Premier League, you know, fitness. And um, he's, I've been really impressed with him. But all forwards will say they. It's important for them to score, and um, it was an important goal for us. Dylan, hi Graham. Um, from me, please. Firstly, a, a big hurdle for you to overcome, say, first Premier League game and being away, uh, so to come back from um, behind and to win must be personally great for you. And I just wondered, though, if I may ask about the incident with Thiago Silva and the handball, lots of debate around it, and lots of frustration from Palace, and I wonder whether you think it's someone that might be justified. Yeah, well, I, on a personal level, it's just nice to um, get the first win uh, under the belt, so to speak. Um, really pleased with the players because, you know, the pattern has been started quite well in, in away from home and then conceding so and not getting the three points and not getting any points. So they could have felt sorry for themselves. They didn't. Um, they kept going. They're pushing in the game. It was a tight game. Uh, we've, we've edged it. It's, it probably could have gone either way, in fairness, but that's just how difficult it is here at Crystal Palace. Uh, in regards to the Thiago incident, it was uh, probably a 50-50 one that we've, that we've come on the right side of, I think. I don't think it's a, uh, one that we certainly um, have been fortunate with, I think. Uh, the fact that it's quite way away from the goal has probably helped us a little bit, and maybe there's recovering defenders, but I can understand Patrick's frustration. Neil? Uh, what made you change the shape of the team from the sorts of a um, well, we lost Mark uh, and also just felt that uh, in this game that a back four would be better for us. So that was part of the thinking. Okay. Any more? Uh, are you likely to keep changing the shape of the team? Do you think, do you think it's the same issues for uh, a smaller club like Brighton to a bigger club like Chelsea? The same issues? It's, it's positive to keep changing the shape. Um, well, you need to be careful with change because um, things have to be have to be consistent. Um, how we play, I think, is consistent. But at the same time, we've got uh, 12 matches in six and a bit weeks. So it's very difficult to keep a consistency in terms of selection there. Um, we, we have to keep open-minded, but in terms of you need some consistency, you need some uh, in terms of how it looks and, and what you're trying to do on the pitch. But um, at the same time, we have to still um, pick a team that we think can win. Okay, Well, there's pressure and expectation is increased because of Chelsea standing in the in the football hierarchy. That's that's what it is. But uh, there's there's um, <clears throat> that's why I took the challenge. That's the that's why I'm here. And um, regardless of what you guys ask me and the narrative that comes from from you, it's I t tend to just focus on the job I have and working with the players and trying to help them improve and try and help them win and. Thankfully, I've got off to a decent start, but I know there's a long way ahead. OK, we'll do two more on today's. Jacob, and then at the back. Um, you seem to be maybe I don't know, thanking or embracing Kepa at the end. Obviously, he had a difficult time at Chelsea since he's, since he's coming for those big saves today. Do you think that today when he's taking his chance with um, Vela and Vela I thought he did really well. I, mean, I agree with you. He made a couple of big saves. But also, I thought his distribution in terms of his decision making at times was really strong. So um, you need players to ultimately to step up and to perform, and Kepa did that today. So really happy for him. Okay, last one, the back. And uh, Ben Chilwell as well came in today as well. It's a bit of a difficult start, but not getting into the Chelsea team. Obviously, a feature in the international break as well. So happy to be with his performance. 
Yeah, and it's again, it's not an easy uh, place to to play because they put two wingers up against him at different times. Zaha, Iwu, they're, they're, they're hard to control. It's his first 90 minutes in the Premier League, but he, he had 90 minutes behind closed doors before he went off to the international break. Um, he's come back from a long injury, but he's fantastic attitude, great kid, really enjoyed working with him. Connor, first of all, congratulations. What a goal, what a story. How are you feeling? Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling good. It's, um, it's a really special moment for me to, to get my first goal for Chelsea and for, for it to be the winner and a very important three points. And um, it had to come against Palace, um, unfortunately, but I'm, I'm really happy with, with the first goal and, and most importantly the win. An incredible strike. Is it up there with one of your best? Yeah, definitely. Um, as soon as it left my foot, Thinking that's got to go in. Um, so thankfully it did, and uh, hopefully I can push on from it. You must have been tempted to celebrate. We were saying off camera, I didn't celebrate it now, are we? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, of course, but um, you know, the, the amount of respect I have for, for Crystal Palace is, is massive, and even the reception they gave me today, before the game and after the game, after I scored, it was just, just amazing. I'm very thankful for that. So, um, yeah, I've just got too much respect. For them. Mm, absolutely. You know more than anyone how tough a place this is. It feels like a big win. It's a massive win. Um, you know, it's the new manager's first Premier League game. Um, it's really important that we, we got a good result. And uh, we knew it would be tough against Palace away. It always is. Um, so to get the three points is, is very important. Must have been a strange few weeks with the manager coming in and then obviously just waiting for that first Premier League game to come around. Yeah, exactly. Um, it has been a bit strange, but he's, he's had a lot of time for to work with the players and, and, and for training and um, everyone is excited to work with him and um, everyone was, was ready today to, to give their best and thankfully we, we won. It's an exciting run of games to look forward to. It feels like it's going to be an opportunity for everybody to play their part in the coming weeks. Yeah, and that's exactly what he said. Uh, you know, we've got two games every week for the next God knows how many weeks, so everyone's looking forward to it, everyone's ready. Um, and yeah, we're all, we're all uh, going to work as hard as we can each game to, to get the best results we can. First Premier League game, first Premier League win, how are you feeling? Yeah, delighted, really proud of the players. Uh, tough game, tough place to come because um, you know, the crowd's always involved here and they've got some good attacking players. And obviously disappointed to go a goal down in the first action in, the, in our box. And because of the away form, you know, there's a, can feel sorry for yourself, but the boys didn't. They, they stuck at it and um, got our way back into the game. And fantastic bit of quality from Connor to, to get the three points. We're delighted. So what a goal! What a story for Connor. Yeah, yeah amazing. I'm really pleased for him. I mean, he's a great kid, uh, desperate to play, desperate to um, help the team. We asked that we're everybody to be ready, and uh, we can't do anything with just 11 players. So really nice for him as a substitute to come on and, uh, and to have the, the maximum impact, which is to score the winning goal. Speaking of goals, a first goal for Chelsea for Aubameyang as well. A big moment for him. Yep, um, he's been working hard, getting himself up to speed. Difficult summer, so um, I've been really impressed with him. Really impressed with his with his attitude. And um, all forwards will say they need to score. It's nice for them to score. So uh, delighted for him. It was an important goal for us. You mentioned the response after going a goal down. Was mentality key today? I think so. Yeah, I think. Um, like I said, this place is, 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 is tough. Mm. I've uh, been here a few times and not won, so picked up points now and again, but I know how difficult it is because the crowd always in, in the game. They've got some good attacking players. Um, you have to suffer at times, and the boys did that. Mm. And then if you do that, you've got a chance with your quality to, to, to turn the situation around, which we did, and delighted for the players. They're really, um, they've had a tough period, so it's, it's nice for them to get three points. You mentioned the tough period. It has been a bit surreal for you and for the, for the squad as well, mm. coming out of the international break, but we're going to what is a crazy run of games now. You must be looking forward to that. Yeah, I'm really excited about it. I mean, um, the response to the players from day one has been brilliant, I must say, and um, they've been really honest, really open, um, hard-working. They want to do well. They know it's been a tough period, but they want to they want to contribute. I get that sense. I get that sense that they want to uh, succeed. So they've got ambition and they've got desire. So I'm looking forward to working with them over the next few weeks because that's how you learn a lot about people.